Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And I did it once again, child. I was running my damn mouth, and they ain't even pushed the start button. So. Oh, y'all miss a good, good chuckles and laughs here and there. Okay, it was just chuckles and laughs here and there because this shit didn't give us nothing. They didn't give us nothing for part one, part two, and damn sure they didn't give us nothing for part three. Only people that gave me per entertainment was Ralph Pittman. I think that's what the name is, right? And Todd Tucker. And we're going to get an MVP player. We're going to get an award to Todd Tucker because he came over here and showed up and showed out on their asses, Okay. And, and Candy didn't do getting it. She didn't give us nothing the first, second, or third. She was up there talking about she gonna drag a bitch in this this uh hotel. That was way back when though. And we was wanting her to drag a bitch you know, this time. But she, she ain't do nothing. She ain't do nothing. Just a lot of hot ass. No nothing. Nothing going on. Then we had that shit with uh Drew and um uh, Sheree going back and forth. Back, back, forth and forth. My Leo voice. Yep. Yeah. She going back and forth, one shit happened in there, you know, uh, Sheree started playing like she was an owl, you know what I'm saying, I like, oh hell, what an owl eat, because <laughs> Drew's finna throw something out of her pocket, maybe some worms or something, like, oh shit now, okay, but, uh, Ray was going around here talking about Drew who, Drew who, Drew who, I like, that. shut that damn owl down, throw her away, okay, Just th where's Lisa Wu, where's Lisa Wu, because we damn sure need to replace Sheree. With Lisa Wu, cause I, I I can't stand her. She 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 by ain't got no wardrobe. She she by can't pay. I can't take her no more. We don't need her. Can you can you make me mad, y'all? Can you make me mad? She gonna pussy pop and back pedal the whole shit back about Aaron. Aaron will, uh, and you know I talked to you, Aaron, uh, the next day, and I, I didn't think you were gonna hurt me. I didn't think you were gonna. No, it wasn't. Uh, you weren't aggressive. I'm like, can you sit your ass down? When we need you to do right, you don't want to do right this season. We let you just be all mellow and happy spirited, and we loved it. We loved it uh, throughout the show, uh, the season. But damn, you know, come back. You were strong on uh, part one. Two, you were meddling out, and three, you were down for the count. I'm like, God damn, can you? I expected you to stay in uh position, and I stayed, needed you to stay in character, but you ain't do shit. You ain't do shit. Made, made me look all embarrassed. You embarrassed all of us, all the twirls. But anyway, let me see what else. We ain't got nothing else to talk about, can you? Uh, we move on to Drusa. Nah, we should ain't got. Cause Ralph still gaslighting her ass. He still gaslighting her ass. And I'm like, you know, if you gonna do that, you do that, okay? We, we, we don't come. We don't need you to come with this shit no more, okay? We don't need you dog no dog treats at us. We don't want need you to put a mannequin up there and make like they. We don't need none of that, okay? So. That's all about Drew. We don't talk about her ass no more. Cause she was sitting up there talking about Anthony, the little sister, and Sheree was going back and forth with. I said, "Look, the boy played y'all both buffoons. He had y'all looking like buffoonery, hooked week and shackled down. Okay, throw y'all asses in the seat, cause that's what he did. He fucked over both of y'all. But moving on from there, we got time, Sonya. Oh Lord, I tell you. Oh, I guess her storyline gonna be pregnancy when she come back. We, we really don't want to see that shit. We don't want to see it. We don't saw it with Candy. We don't saw it with uh, Portia. We don't saw it with Kenya. Who ever pregnant on the show? I think that was it. But we, we tired of pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? God damn. So I guess we're gonna see how uh Aaron treats you throughout your pregnancy that you're trying to have the baby for. Because I think in your heart of heart, you don't want to more children. You didn't want to more children. You wanna live foot loose and fast and free and you, you don't like being pregnant nine months. You see what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, if he still got that um limousine business, he ain't gonna be there with you, girl, he ain't gonna be there with you. He'll probably call and check in on your ass, but he ain't gonna be that girl. He ain't gonna be the nine months in Atlanta. Watching you grow bigger and bigger. Nah, he ain't going to be that. Don't even think so. But we got to get into the candy situation where they were coming down to get ready to start taping. And 
you know, they had to bring all their wardrobes down there and get situated in. <laughs> Todd, Aaron, and Ralph was in the lobby drunk as two, uh, three stumps. The three musketeers. Ooh, and Candy was not pleased with that. She was not pleased. I mean, I was like, damn, she's going to get on him like he, he a child. Oh, Todd said, I got to go. I got some Todd. I'm becoming no alcoholic over there now. Don't be suppressing yourself and putting in the alcohol and the booze now. That ain't good. You got the blues, just take your ass somewhere and sit, sit it down and lay it down, okay? Don't be becoming no alky out there, okay? Too good of a person to be, um, um, trot it down with something like that, substance abuse. So, she right. I don't know why you had cleaned yourself when you said you had to uh, do a detox. So you might be drinking too much. You better worry about your liver. Yes, sir. You better worry about that liver because you need that liver to live. Why don't you shivering it, shivering it up by uh, drinking all that brown liquor and that vodka? It might be good, but it ain't going to be good later on. You're going to be on a dialysis machine. So slow it up. So just, just take in some uh, wine or take it to some uh, coolers. Okay? You ain't got to hit that hard shit. You're too young. You still ain't vibrant. You don't need to use that. You know, mm -mm. Okay, that's uh, the devil's poison. <laughs> mm. But anyway, uh, let's see who we got next. Marlo. Who are Marlo fussing with? Oh, she was just apologizing to Candy and Kenya, but we know that shit ain't sincere. So shut up, Marlo. Get ready for um, season 15 because your ass might need to be replaced because you weren't giving that. You weren't giving that. And you think we are going to believe you that you're going to be better? No, ma'am. You was the villain, and you're going to try to be the villain uh, for season 15. We already know. We already know what the assignment is. We just hope you can uh, uh, make it through, okay? That's all I'm saying. We, we need you to see if you can make it through, because we might need to bring Portia back. And, Lord, we don't want to do that, because with her, she's going to bring Father Time. And we don't want to see Father Time. Father Time has lied to everybody, okay? He's just a big liar. He ain't even got um, blue lighted on Instagram. And Nene's a uh, little boy toy, Shaba, man, he blue lighted over there. Got the check, verification, everything. I'm like, oh my goodness. He And I know he retired. He retired. He got to be retired. Uh, AKA Father Time, Simon's what they call him. He's sitting up there taking a picture. Uh, he's, um, on the Porsche's mama's uh, Instagram account, I believe. Well, hell, it might have been Porsche. Oh, I was talking about uh, somebody. He, he, he just so pedo he, he just gives me the creeps. Okay, the way he sit and lust over uh, Porsche's mama, like, mm -mm. and then she sit there and let him lust over her. I'm like, y'all, y'all, mm -mm. is this a threesome going on? Y'all just got to tell us about. It. Is there a threesome going on up in that house, Porsche? You like wow shit anyway. Remember Bolo? Mm-hmm. And we did hear that uh, Todd had got his New York apartment. Y'all just saw it there. He got it all fixed up and ready to go. And can saying they, they spent some time over there, you know. Like, yeah, you had to because you got to look like a damn fool. But shit, you went back on your word, too. You didn't want that shit. You didn't want it. And then you said you didn't want it. And you, you should have stood in your shit. He can go up there, but you can go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And that's just going to be where it is. Because we don't lay our heads where another woman will lay her heads, allegedly. But anyway, it's your choice. What else? She gave in. She okay about it now. She probably see the perks that it is to have something like that, you know, in, under your arsenal where you don't have to play, pay, uh, what do you call it, hotel, motel fees. You know what I'm saying? So, Todd won that argument. Did it very well. And I ain't going to even say where he got the money from. Cause he said he make his own money. So, we're going to believe Todd. We're going to believe Todd's making his own money over there. Okay. But then we got, uh, let me see. Ralph, yeah, Ralph got in the straight ass. <laughs> Ralph got in the ass. He said, "You know for a fact, I ain't give you no insinuation that I was other, I was all uh, gay. I never gave you that impression. I have always been heterosexual." He said to something to that degree. You know what I'm saying? And Sheree said, "I don't know that. <laughs> I don't believe you are, but I don't know that for a fact." I said, "You double-minded fool, uh, Sheree, sit your ass down. Don't say nothing else. Do like uh, Kim." Uh, Zodiac told Cynthia, look down, look up, sit, shut up, and look pretty, okay? That's all. We don't want you to say shit else, okay? Just look pretty, but don't open your mouth for nothing, okay? We'll answer for you. Uh, let me see, and then let me see who else we got. Uh, let's see, Todd. I told you Todd and Candy got into it. Oh, not necessarily. She was just telling Todd what he needed to be doing, and he probably had a hangover. 
And he just said, okay, baby, okay, baby. You know, they was out in the uh, lobby uh, while Candy and the other girls were coming down to get started on filming. And she saw them three, but she, she didn't have a just, you know, uh, what do you call it, jurisdiction over Ralph and Aaron. <laughs> but she had full pledge. I'm going to kick your ass type situation if you don't get this shit straight out, okay? What are you doing out here and getting drunk? Too early in the morning time. You mean you've been out here ever since last night? Like, Candy, where were you, baby? Were you in the house by yourself? Were you in the uh, apartment or, or hotel by yourself, girl? You know what? Uh, top, uh, little Tim Top Tim Top. Little Tim Top. Damn, I can't even get it straight now. Little Tiny Tim Top Tucker, okay? You didn't know where he was, girl. Well, honey, you could have called down to the concierge and say, it's my husband down there. He was there. He probably went down falling asleep on the sofa in that chair you found him in the next morning, okay? But anyway, yeah, she got in the ass. So then we got Marlo, you know, apologizing to Kenyon Candy. You know, I ain't going to say it was rehearsed, but it just sounded fake coming out of her mouth. Like, you don't believe nothing you saying. You don't believe nothing you saying. And it coming across that way. So we ain't here for the shits. We ain't here for the shits. Then we got Aaron call uh i don't know they got somewhere they was talking on do you ever do you regret saying what you said to kenya and all this and he's like yeah you know but you know um i don't know because i really wasn't paying attention after that shit but he said something to andy when he was getting off of him he said don't fuck with my wife and he chuckled i like see you see what i'm saying dumbass that's all i can say about aaron in that point dumbass and then we move on down to where, of course, I, I don't know, what a, what does an owl eat or something? Because I'll wait for uh, Drew to throw something at Sheree because you going around here saying, Drew who? Drew who? Drew who? I'm like, girl, if you don't sit your ass down, I just need to put you out. Where's Lisa Wu? Where's Lisa Wu? We don't need Sheree this second time around because she, she just not showing improvement. And we all seen what the fashions were like after the um, – the season ended, you couldn't get in there. And we don't have nobody that has come across social media world and told us they liked it, her um, her things that she brought out on the fashion show, The Runway. I ain't heard nobody. I ain't seen nobody. It, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen, okay? Then, <laughs> I got to tell y'all, after I finish talking about it, what I tell y'all now, at the end of the show, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Sheree going to tell the men in the back to bring out her garment rack. And I'm telling you, y'all, it was bare. <clears throat> it was bare like Christmas Day for a homeless person. You see what I'm saying? She going to come out there with some t-shirts that look like you could have made them yourself. And she had one little hoodie thing on now that she was going to give, um, what you call it, and then Andy hurried, hurried up and put it on like he was uh, a kid at Christmas uh, and he just woke up. And he's just grinning like a Cheshire cat. I'm like, look at this Emma. Look at this Emma. Okay. But it said to him, and he had a little room. But I was looking on the rack as much as I could. I ain't seen no more of the hoodies. I'm like, now what's she right on? And almost, and she had like four, four t-shirts. <laughs> she had one gym bag and some hats. I'm like, are you, you, you kidding me, girl? Are you kidding me? You should have had a set of, uh, what do you call it? A water bottle. You should have had a hat. You should have had a t-shirt as well as a hoodie because we're going in the cold months now. We're in the fall, okay? We're falling back. So we need to be dressed appropriate. But, you know, and give them all set up for all the women and the men that was on the show. You know what I'm saying? For season 14. Now, that would have been showing up and showing out. But you ain't do that. You ain't do that, right? I don't know what kind of budget you on, but you ain't doing nothing in my book. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, it was just a piss poor. Anybody that saw that little small garment rat with the little clothes on there, I was like, oh, no, it's right. Oh, girl, you doing too much, but not enough to secure yourself as a fashion designer. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We would not give you that title, okay? We will put you as a clown, a, a show clown. That we can give you full-fledged uh, piece of resistance, in a sense. You can act like that every day of your life and every time you take. You can be the clown, okay? Not the bone collector, but the clown. Oh, then, okay, I said about talk. Okay, yeah, and Ralph started talking about uh, Sheree, you know, was saying, uh, 
he was asking her why she was going around him spreading that rumor. And she said, no, I didn't do it. Your assistant did. He said, yes, but you keep you kept it going. You should have shut it down. And they were just going back and forth. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Then we're finna get something. We're finna get something now. And, and the dog, she put some water on that fire and it just went, it sizzled out. It just sizzled out because uh, it just is what it is, you know. Either you believe Ralph is gay or you don't, you know. I just, he don't give me the striking of pain, uh persona that he's gay but he does seem like a cheater okay he seems like he can finesse any woman he want and do whatever he want and Drew won't find out about it yes i said it yeah uh-huh that's what i believe oh huh, and then we just go to the last and final thing where uh <laughs> todd was trying to get Molo ass together okay and he didn't want to do it but he did it so beautifully I I was, I'm like, listen, that's what a man need to come and do something, get a woman straight, and I'd be okay with it, okay? He just set up the scene for us, gave a little background story, and said, yeah, babe, because Marlo asked now. See, she shouldn't have put her foot in her mouth and asked some shit, and she knows she wasn't going to like the results that was going to come, okay? But anyway, she said, Todd, Todd, tell me, uh, what do you mean when uh, you said I was thirsty? Or you are saying, I paid for What did I pay for, Todd? What did I pay for? He said, okay, okay, you want to ask me? And she said, yeah. And she was trying to over-talk him and everything, and it's, everything was just kind of getting out of hand. And he said, well, if you ask me a question, let me tell you what I'm talking about. He said, Marlo paid for her plane ticket. She paid for her anything far as, uh, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> anything she wanted to eat. Uh... The basic stuff you would get when you go out on a show. You get room, shelter, and um, some event planning where you're going to be going somewhere your bills going to be taken care of. But Todd said, you just want to hang with the big girls. You just wanted to be a part of the circle. You were thirsty. Oh, he, I said, what? He was super thirsty. Oh, Todd. He said, dry as the Sahara, Sahara Desert. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, Todd, tell me some more. Tell me some more, okay? And then he was like, uh, somebody, you was a little per. Oh, no, he said thirsty, and she said something about no, this is my Birkin bag. He said no, nah, you were a little dehydrated. <laughs> like them Birkin bags weren't bringing you no type of coolness on the water to drink. No, ma'am, no son of God. He said, baby, you paid to be around them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You wanted it. There you go. Can you dispute it? I think not. Cause even Ed was like, well, okay. Uh, apparently he does know what he's talking about. <laughs> And then Anna gonna try to clear it up, like, no, you you just paid for your plane ticket. And then uh, Marlo was like, well, uh, yeah, I do remember that. I do. I said, Marlo, Marlo, oh baby, they come and they go, they come and they go, and you might be one of the ones that gonna be going if you don't get your shit straightened out. Okay, you're gonna have nobody wanting to take with you, and that is gonna be a problem because in this, you are being seen and uh and shown in a scene, you ain't getting paid. Okay, you ain't getting paid, so everybody wants to get in those scenes uh, of all 15 or 14 episodes, okay? See, we didn't know that at first when we were watching, you know, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, as we fully, uh, as we further went along throughout the different seasons, we started learning bit by bit by bit, and Todd Tucker had your ass sold up where you couldn't say shit, okay? You didn't have no receipts, because he had all the receipts, okay? <laughs> all the receipts and he got your ass together and i was i was appreciative that he did it such in a hospital uh, <coughs> a hospitable way okay i'm, like, I'm, I'm right now, Todd, Todd, I'm on his team <laughs> i am on his team okay he was coming with no pools punches he came with the damn cannon not no firearms he just came with the cannon and uh blue marlow behind up okay like Oh, my God. Woo, not the talk come with the shit. So he came in black and the other two men came in white. He said, I'm dying to Ross and that's my pills. <laughs> I mean, damn, dying to Ross and it's a friend. Well, I'm going to say, uh, what's her name? Uh, shoot, Gladys Knight and the pills. I guess I like the pills better than I like Diana. But he he was on point. Todd Tucker was on point. Then he got his, uh, his uh, apartment set up. Looking nice and stuff, but I know Candy probably still feeling some kind of way. But baby, go on in now. You know, since you paying no hotel fee when you got something that's nice and uh, renovated that you can sleep in, just take a uh, uh, we call it 
a Benadryl, go to sleep. <laughs> And give him no love while y'all there. Y'all just cozy up and go to sleep and be ready to fall on out and come on back to Atlanta, okay? Oh, child, but that damn Todd talking. <laughs> damn. I'm on Todd, Chief. I'm, I'm riding against some for the longest, but he showed out and he proved out, okay? Because they did more between him and Ralph. They did more than the first two, third, women, first, second, and third episode, okay? Of a reunion. They need, they need to, uh, they got at that shit. Let's put it in one. And if y'all had to do it 16 hours, hell, I know we could do it for eight hours, okay? You could just be a marathon runner with it. But it is what it is. That's all I had. I ain't got no more. And I don't want to see no more of this bullshit either. And if Portia come up in this camp, she better be coming. But no, Kenya, Candy, and, um, who else? Hell, we can put Marlo on their team. We need to find out what Simon does for a living. And if they gonna bring her and she gonna skate around everything, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. We already got Sheree nothing ass up there, doing nothing. Not bone collect. She ain't doing that wrong yet this season. <sighs> okay, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.